Hey guys, I'm Kyle and in today's video I'm going to show you how to use Character AI app. So let's get started. So in today's video, I will be taking you to a quick run through on what you can do here in Character AI. So in here in the chat section, as you can see at the bottom, this is where you'll be able to see all the chats that you have created or added from the Explore tab. So this is where you can uh, get to the chat or call your uh, chats right here. For, like, for example, Gojo Satoru, you can call this bot right here by tapping on the call button at the bottom left and then it would pop like this right here so i'm just gonna end this call and i'm just gonna go and that and that's it and then from here you can chat whatever you'd want and as you can see i am uh, conversing with gojo right here and then you can also converse with your other bots and then the next thing is to do the create button right here. So you can create a character, group chat, persona, or voice. So in this tutorial, we'll just be going for character right here, just to be quick. From here, you can go for a sample number uh, three, just for an example, since we are just doing this tutorial right there, or I could go for samples right there. And then you can upload a photo of your character or you could generate it using AI. And then when you generate that, you will be able to choose from the four choices, as you can see. But in this case, it's only three depending on the prompt or description that you would give for your character. So in my case, I'll just go with this one and tap on next once you're done. And from here, you can make an introduction for your bot on how they introduce themselves. So in my case, I'll just go for hi. I am samples, maybe like that right there. Or you could just generate it for me if you'd want to use the AI to do its job and then tap on next once you're done. And by the way, you can also change the bot. I mean, the voice right here, you can tap on change and then you can utilize different voices right here for call purposes and then tap on next once you're done. And then you can now see it right here, the visibility of if you want other people to use this bot or not, then I'll just set it to private tap on next and then you can add a subtitle description or character definition right here so this would help in uh in describing your bot on how they should react or whatsoever and tap on next once you're done and then uh, there we have it we have now created a bot and now you can chat with your bot right here and you can even call it and yeah, that's basically it and the next one is the explore so this is basically where you will be able to um to chat with the bots that was created by other people right here so the most popular are goju Satoru, sukuna and so on you can even call them and you can also go for the voices the groups helpers and features right here so this is where you'll be able to see the bots that people have created and use them and chat with them and then the notifications here is basically where all of the notifications from character AI will go to. So you would need to enable this in your settings if you would want notifications. So that is basically it on how you can use character AI app. Thank you for watching.